There's a new soup drug in town, and it's about to make life even harder for Billy Butcher and his team. Warning, this video contains full spoilers for the first three episodes of The Boys Season 3. This is okay. Get the fuck out! I see nothing. I go. Okay. Wait! You can't leave. No, 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 no. The Boys Season 3 has introduced several major new characters to this twisted superhero universe. But one could argue that the show's most important new addition isn't a person, it's an object. The first three episodes reveal that Vought America has developed a new experimental drug called V24 that can give anyone superpowers for 24 hours. Soldiers will only be super temporarily. The product finally perfected. We've already seen the deadly consequences of that drug in those three episodes, with Billy Butcher going on a superhuman rampage and battling the physical side effects. In more ways than one, the series seems to be putting Billy and his team on a path that more closely mirrors the original comic book series. Let's take a closer look at what exactly V24 is, why it makes sense to put a superhuman Billy Butcher in play, and why Billy, probably, isn't the only character gaining powers this season. The boys' universe is unusual in that pretty much every superhero and villain has powers that stem from Compound V. This Nazi-designed wonder drug can transform ordinary humans into unstoppable powerhouses. There's just one catch. Compound V usually only works on children. By the time those children have endured a decade or more of being prodded in a lab and mold into walking, they've almost surely grown up to become self-absorbed sociopaths. Homelander himself is a worst-case scenario. Compound V has transformed him into a godlike being who can decimate entire cities in the blink of an eye. Keeping Homelander happy and out of trouble requires a full-time staff and a very delicate hand. Fucking joke. What did you say? Nothing. Nothing? What did you I'm say sorry. to me? I'm sorry. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean it. Say it! Say it! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. V24 is essentially Vought's solution to these problems. It's a drug that can be used on willing adults rather than unsuspecting children. It only lasts for 24 hours per dose, meaning the company won't be left with any superhuman liabilities that can't be controlled. And perhaps most importantly for the power-hungry Stan Edgar, it's a perpetual source of massive revenue for Vought. There's already some evidence to suggest V24 doesn't work exactly as intended. It's certainly effective, based on Billy Butcher's first exposure to the drug. One injection granted him super strength and heat vision, more than enough to make quick work of gunpowder. We don't know if V24 bestows the same powers to every person, or if the effects are completely random, as is the case with Compound V. However, Billy's heat vision could be a clue V24 is derived from Homelander's DNA. Effective though it is, these episodes show us that it has some significant side effects. Billy is experiencing some pretty gnarly withdrawal symptoms, and the heat vision power seems to be lingering well after the 24-hour period has expired. And this is after just one dose. Billy has two more hidden away, which raises the question of just what state his body will be in by the time he's run through his third vial. Most disturbingly of all, V24 clearly has significant psychological effects. Billy was already a profoundly damaged person, but V24 accentuates his worst traits. The man who managed to restrain himself from killing Termite in Episode 1, happily murders the helpless gunpowder in Episode 2. And now Billy has pushed away Ryan, severing his last link to his ex-wife. All of this suggests Billy is careening down a self-destructive path that puts him more in line with the comic book incarnation of the character. If there's anything that I've learned... What the fuck? 
Let us know your favorite episode in season 3. Be sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie.